Greetings citizens of the world. On Thursday's edition of The Lead with Jake Tapper, on the fake new CNN network, a contributor Phil Mudd made the terrifying comment that President Trump is going to be killed by the U.S. government. Of course, Jake Tapper came to his defense and quickly put words in Mudd's mouth by clarifying that Mudd's usage of kill, which he used twice in one of his responses, is just a metaphor. Sure it was Tapper, sure it was. Mudd, a couple surprises. Let me give you one bottom line as a former government official. Government is going to kill this guy. He defends Vladimir Putin. There are State Department and CIA officers coming home. And at Langley and Foggy Bottom, CIA and State, they're saying, this is how you defend us? We saw the same thing in his transgender comments. What is the military saying to him on transgender? Show us the policy. You know what that means inside government? Ain't going to happen. What did the Department of Justice say on Paul Manafort? You can say what you want. A judge told us we had cause to search his home early in the morning because we don't trust the guy who was your campaign manager. The government is going to kill this guy because he doesn't support them. Tapper, it's interesting also, his comments about Paul Manafort, the campaign chair. About the fact that on July 26 there was this early morning FBI raid on his home. According to ABC News, they actually went into his home and knocked on his bedroom door not on the front door, and you do this when you are worried that people are going to get rid of documents. The president's remarks were that Paul Manafort is a good man, he hasn't talked to him in a long time. That was a very aggressive action, he said. Nira, Tandon, yes, he kind of intimated it was too aggressive, like they had gone too far. His words are right there. It's interesting, if I had a campaign manager where the FBI was knocking on the door, Meaning they have probable cause or a lot of evidence to get a judge to agree to that, I think a normal act would be what does Paul Manafort have that I don't know about? Versus the FBI may well be in the wrong. It's another instance in which it doesn't seem like he's trying to get to the bottom of what's happened here. He's really trying to push back against the investigation. Tapper, Phil, before. To reiterate, obviously when you're talking about killing, you're using that as a metaphor. Mud, obviously. What I'm saying is, people talk about the deep state. When you disrespect government officials who have done 20 or 30 years, they're going to say, really? Vladimir Putin sends officers home and you support him before you support us? Now folks, keep in mind these words were uttered by a current government official who is loyal to the Clinton crime syndicate. And what makes all this even more concerning is that the Clinton mob is currently on vacation out of the country in a lavish five-star boutique resort that was recently ranked the second best in Canada by Travel and Leisure magazine. Many of us who know the way the Clintons operate could say this might be a way to deny involvement if God forbid anything were to happen to our president. Clinton, ex-Secretary of State Hillary Clinton their daughter Chelsea and their two grandchildren will reportedly stay at the renowned Manoir Hovi, but the hotel has not confirmed it. As you might have heard, President and Secretary Clinton, along with family and dear friends, will be visiting Quebec's eastern township in mid-August, as my guests, on a brief private getaway, Penny said in a statement through her publicist. They'll be exploring the beautiful area, enjoying the sights, and most of all, Relaxing. We completely understand your interest, of course, but I hope you will respect their privacy. Penny's relationship with the Clintons is well documented. When her husband, Michael Whitehead, passed away last September, Hillary Clinton sent a letter of condolence despite being in the final stretch of the U.S. presidential election campaign. Radio Canada reported Tuesday the U.S. Secret Service came by last week to inspect the property along the shores of Lake Mississippi in advance of their arrival Sunday. The Manoir Hovey ranked number 27 in the top 100 hotels of the world in 2017 by industry publication Travel Plus Leisure magazine. The hotel's manager has said previously it has played host to high-profile guests and dignitaries. Danny Bellavo a spokeswoman for the regional tourism department, said before Penny made it public, they'd been told about the Clintons' pending arrival, albeit without much detail. 
but with security people doing some inspections, it's difficult to keep it a secret, Belevo said. She said the visit to North Hadley, a town of 750 about 150 kilometers east of Montreal, can only have a positive impact on tourism in the region. Minoyer Hovi has a great reputation, it's a wonderful place, it's a very high quality accommodation and cuisine, Belevo said. A lot of people might say if they, the Clintons, are going, it would be great for us to visit too. The Clintons' visit to Quebec comes a few months after former President Barack Obama gave a speech in Montreal. North Hatley town manager Daniel DeCarey didn't have any official confirmation the Clintons would be arriving but said he doesn't believe the celebrity guests would have an impact on the locals. During the summer, there are many people in town, so you can't figure they're coming here because someone else is in town, DeCarey said. I think our citizens are pretty proud that their community attracts these types of celebrities. But depending on the kind of holiday these people want, we see them or sometimes not at all. Now let's pretend for a second that this was 2009 and not 2017. Imagine if a government official who was loyal to the Bush clan had said these same words about the newly elected President Barack Hussein Obama? The media uproar would have been massive. Jake Tapper would have been off the air and Mudd would probably have been put in prison, or at least questioned extensively, as should be the case today. One thing is for certain, the swamp and sewer in D.C. are truly terrified of Donald Trump, and we all know they will stop at nothing to make him go away. May God bless and protect our new president and the brave men and women in the Secret Service who keep him safe.